So welcome to Stocksbridge, Ian. What is it like to be back here? Oh, it's brilliant. Um, a real privilege to be here as, as the first team manager, um, to do it alongside Andy Ring and Pete Goldstraw. Uh, it's great, we've got a real strong affiliation with the football club. Uh, I started here as a nine-year-old. Uh, my football journey before I went and unfortunately went and played professionally. Then I had six successful seasons uh, with the first team, playing alongside Andy Ring, who obviously 400 appearances, nearly 100 goals, and obviously Pete was here in different um, positions. So we've got a strong connection to this football club. So it's, it's great to be back and great to, to be lead this, this football club, but also I think is a really strong uh, changing room of players. Yeah, for those of the new Stocksbridge fans who might not know who you are, <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Yeah, well, uh, I was here between, I think, 2003 and 2009. Uh, I'm 41 now, nearly 42. Um, I've been manager at Penniston for the last 12 years. So I finished here just 30, my knees packed in, wanted to manage. The opportunity at Hometown Club, wanted to start there, sort of the ground up and work way. We've had 12 years of, of great success, uh, growth and achievement on and off the pitch. The one person who is really missing here is my brother. Uh, Duncan who did play here as well and just that next level with his family um, situations he's just had to put family first but that success was achieved over the last 12 years um, as a pair and then Andy Ring came on board and then Pete Goldstraw came on board and, and Brett Lovell so a real collective effort um, and that is one thing that's unfortunate is not, not being able to, to bring Duncan with me but he's going to be here in games as a spectator and our football conversation, conversation will turn to, to when we meet up rather than in the dugout. Great. So, what obviously we know about your former history with Stocksbridge. What else was it that attracted you to the club and to make that application? Yeah, three three reasons really. Personal ambition, ready for the challenge to manage at the, the next level. Um, feel I've earned that right uh, to manage at the next level. Um, secondly, um, because it was Stocksbridge, a club that I feel has a, a similar ethos and, and beliefs as, as me and, and Penniston. So that connection with Stocksbridge I've just talked about. And then finally, because I. I I believe and they've shown in the last two games there's real potential and quality in that change room and I think there's a real group of players that with the right sort of um, coaching and, and management and the, the odd adaptation here we can build on the good work that's been done previously and, and, and work with this group of players. Yeah, so about on the playing squad obviously you've had your first full training session yeah. with, just before this, what do you think of the squad? Yeah, excellent reaction, real togetherness about them, you can see they've been together for uh, for a while, a uh, real upbeat session, um, competitive training session, really enjoyed doing it. It was nice to get that nervousness, that feeling again, um, doing it for the first time with a new set of players. Um, but once you're out on the grass, it's, it's, really, it's the most natural environment you want to be in as a manager or as a coach. So, yeah, everyone's been very hospitable, everyone's been welcoming, players have been very professional and, and with, with really good attitudes and they've made us feel welcome and it's really important because in two days, less than two days time we're, we're playing Bridlington Town at home and the most important thing is getting three points. I've just said to the players, look, three wins on the spin takes you into Tadcaster, you could potentially have four wins in a row, huge, huge um, positive, which makes you, puts you high on the table but also gives you confidence moving further into the season. Yeah, so... Um... We've also got two new additions already with um, Pete and Andy. Yeah. What are they going to bring to the club? Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll be real uh, balanced between us. So I like to be very hands-on. I like to be hands-on with, with the, the training, with the management, the organisational. Um, so I'll very lead aspects of that. Andy Ring's very good um, on a one-to-one -one basis, little bits, little information, look at it from a different perspective. So he'll bring that aspect to it as well and take aspects of the warm-up and, and training and Pete. Um, it's very much what I call sort of your player support, so he takes care of everything. Non football, um, for example, any drinks, any gels are, are, are sorted, so the players, when they walk out, are, are ready to go and in, the, in, and in the right position to go win a football match. So we complement each other really well. Yeah, so, obviously, if we go back to the squad for just a short while, obviously, with non league, what happens a lot of the time when there's a new manager is there's a lot of turnover, as the, some, some people follow their old manager and some people, the new manager wants to bring in his own guys. Should we expect a large amount of turnover or not much at all? 100% not. I don't want to. I've said that very clear. At the start of the training session, at the end of the training session, I, I, I operate on uh, low turnover of players. I think it's the best way to build relationships, develop players, build that team spirit uh, and togetherness that you need when it's a long season over nine months, playing a lot of games. So um, 
for me, it's it's I'm going in here with no preconceptions. I, I know the players professionally in terms of what they're like as footballers. I don't know them personally. It's an opportunity I've said over this next couple of weeks to get to know. Am I the right fit for them? Are they the right fit for me? But for, I would like to work with a majority of those players um, and just add what I see one or two players to to add strength in depth. So, yeah, what kind of style of football should we expect from you for, for to get Stocksbridge playing this year? Yeah, I like to be uh, play front foot attacking football, uh, very progressive football. So get the ball forward quickly with quality into the opposition half and commit forward. So. I play with a front three, and my preferred uh, with midfielders who want to join from, from midfield and break lines. Then full backs when we've got a good position in the opposition half, give us that width and play high up the pitch. And um, so we can really try and dominate the ball and territory in the opposition half. Not adverse to if we act, we play from the full backs from, from deep and play uh, through midfield if that's open, but it's very much about attacking front foot football, um, win the ball high up the pitch if we can, if we can't be very compact, very organised, really good defensive discipline, be hard to break down, have a, take real pride in keeping clean sheets and reducing chances for the opposition. I'm very uh, organised, I, I, I take uh, uh, attention to detail in set pieces and restarts, so I'll make sure that we're very clear on, on corners, free kicks, throw-ins, goal kicks, the clear, the players are very clear on on what their, their roles are within that. And then when we're in open play, very much uh, on players to have clarity about what their jobs are without the ball, what their jobs are with the ball, depending on where the ball is on the pitch. So I'm hoping uh, spectators will see attacking, front foot football, playing as much ball as we can in the opposition half, whether that like the two goals that the team scored against Yorkshire Amateurs, where fast front foot football, where we win it deep and counter-attack, or whether that's get the ball and dominate in the opposition half. Hopefully we create a number of chances and, and play commit a number of players forward. So with the club, what are your short-term goals for this season and what is the long-term aim? Yeah, short-term is to win Saturday and then a little bit longer than that is to win the Tuesday. But no, we, we there's, there's a lot of football to be played. And what's brilliant about the, this uh, level is there's playoffs. So there's six opportunities to, to get into a position to go to go get promoted. So. And it's a very tough league, but it's it, it's the team I feel that are most consistent, are really strong at home and pick up points away from home, especially in midweeks. So that's the focus is to challenge it towards that top end of the table. Um, that's where I'm used to managing, and I want the players here and the club here to be at that level. I also would like to uh, this club to experience winning silverware. I think um, had some really good success in terms of progress uh, under Chris and, and Lee. But I'd like the club to, to, to try and win some silverware, that's a, an aim. And if we're looking at a three year plan, is to try and get this team in at the next level, uh, step three, NPL Prem, and to have won some silverware. And it's like a three year plan this year and the next two. And finally, what is your message to the fans watching this? Can we hopefully going to come on Saturday? Yeah, please come and support. Please uh, be positive. Um, we look forward to seeing you. We understand how important you are to the football club. We remember when we played. And when teams are playing well in a good style of football, very supportive, get, encourage the players, get behind them. All I ask is that you come, come with an open mind, enjoy the football, get behind the players um, and get behind your, your community football club. Thank you very much and welcome to Stocksbridge. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be here.